Hey YouTube, Murray Mayhem here. I'm going to show you garden haul. This is from yesterday's. Oh, you saw those two guys rolling out. There we go. Uh, this is from yesterday's snack. And I think these are the past two or three days worth of, uh, maybe four days worth of cucumbers we've got. And we're getting ready to do our second batch of uh, sweet pickles. We do those a lot because we eat them a lot. We're going to do hot and sweet ones. Using the Mrs. Wages recipe. It's on the back. Basically the pouch, vinegar, sugar. Mix it up and we are cutting up some of these peppers to uh, go into the jars. Got them steaming. They're coming up to a good temperature. And these are the ones uh, that my wife did last week. So we've already eaten one jar of those. They're really good. I did want to show you something. We had a problem with something sealing the other day and you can see this glass is chipped and cracked. So that's probably what was causing that rim seal to actually not seal. You can see it right there. So hate to say it, this guy's getting tossed out. So more time. Okay. All of the cucumbers are chopped. Uh, we grow the uh, Burpee uh, 8 inch pickling cucumbers. Uh, those are the ones that we plant uh, and they're climbers. So we always run them up a, a trellis or uh, along the fence row. Now we have done something different with the uh, spice this time uh, to make our hot pickles, our hot sweet pickles, instead of adding the uh, peppers there to the jars, we're going to go ahead and cook them in with this and then we added a little bit of garlic as well just to give it a little bit more of a kick. It should, as it cooks, I think it's going to release a lot more of the flavor so it ought to be even more uh, spicy and probably a lot more hot, a lot hotter. More time. Okay, and here she is popping off the jars and obviously I'm not good at doing this anymore. She's actually better at me now at uh, canning them than I am. And we're going to wrap these with a wet cloth, wash them off, get all the sticky off of them off the rim, make sure that they'll seal good, and then we will start cramming them in there and process them. Okay. They are packed. And now they're getting to the uh, boiling water bath. And we're going to start processing them. How long are we going to put them on there for, sweetie? Uh, Robert, I'm going to have to look on the package. Okay, I'm going to have to look on the package. Ten minutes. The pints. Okay. And she's wiping the lids off. To make sure that sealed well. Those guys are in there boiling, heating them up. Oh, now I gotta put the camera down. Okay. Now, we've got a quart size container of the uh, hot and sweet brine left and we're not going to throw it away because we're getting cucumbers so often now. I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator and this will go for another probably three or four jars. No sense in wasting it. And we'll end up using it tomorrow or the day after. So if you have any, you can keep it for a day or so. And almost finished product. Got three more cooking. And then we'll start having our lids pop and seal. Now we got to clean up. More to come. 